Hi everyone, I'm gonna share with you how to make a bow cozy. The, um, this you can change your inside um, depend on what you like to do. If you want to use for candy, you can use the um, interface in, and if you want to use uh, for the the soup bowl, then you can change into the thermal um, kind of interface in, and then the other one for the microwave, everything like that. I will list in my description, but exactly the same way anyway. It depends on how you put it inside for the use. So this is eight and a half inch by eight and a half inches, and I'm going to share the the templates in my description. To make it easy for everyone here, so you don't hang yourself. So fold it in half, and I'm just want to do this so I can mark the center all the way like that, just like that. I just want to for the safe side. So you're gonna fold this side, go in. this to meet there and then bring this side over both sides have to be even okay. when you have something like this you're gonna fold in this way fold again now you open this you have something like this. In the center line right here, I like you to take uh, four inch and a quarter on the side here, three inch and a quarter, three inch and a quarter, and then on this side, same thing, three inch and a quarter. You go on to curve this side. like that okay everyone just to curl you can get the bowl or you can get the public so on the on the pointy going up here i like you to mark these two inches and on this side too also two inches on the curve that you just mark or you just draw half an inch on this curve too half an inch so now you connect that half an inch to the two in that you just mark right here. Same thing to this side. Two inch, two inch just connect into the half an inch that you just cut, you just mark. Okay, so I'm cutting this one. Go all the way up into here. Curve. If you don't want to be that. You can make it straight out, but I think this is cute like this. And they stop where you mark half an inch and then go down to the two inches. Yeah, ta da! You have a template for your. So, everyone, I cut two fabric right here. It's green right here, that's nine by nine inches. And this is nine in by ten inches and so i'm gonna the ten uh, the ten inches one you're gonna fold that so you're going to cut out in half so that way you have the five by nine and you need two okay and you're going to put two back on it's confusing like why you have to cut and then you go on to sew it back but it uh, makes sense so now you go on ahead and half an inch your sew and you go on to leave the center about three inches in the middle open so go on to sew half an inch from here to here and stop and then from here to here and stop half an inch so then you have one piece there's two options you can use i'm using this one right here that I cut out. This is for the microwave. And if you don't want to use it for the microwave, you can use this one for the 
um, bow cozy. You can use this when you hold a bow and won't um, pop your hand. Okay, so there are two options you can use. This is for the microwave and this is for you to just sold it in and every time you hold it, it won't burn your hand. So, this one cannot go in the microwave. This, this I'm doing right now for the microwave. So now I'm going to place this on here and I'm going ahead and sew this side together everywhere all around here. I just want to make sure that this one is staying together with this one first, okay? And then also sewing this two together. So I'm going to start doing from here. I, I'm sorry, I start a little bit and then I forgot to, to press the record. So that way you don't need to cut it. So now when you're done from this side, you're gonna go this way all the way down exact the same. So everyone, this is after I finish. So I'm going down, down, and then after that I go this this way. So this is the front and this is the back. So bring back the template, you're gonna place it in here. You're gonna go ahead and trace it around. You want when you trace it, make sure you go into mark this on the top here too, like this go like that go straight up like that and then go wrap around trace exactly the same way it is go down to here go up and then trace all around going up here going up here and then draw the line there when you make it it's much easier like thing in front of you will be easier and then go out this way, go out this way, this is a V, and then go around, connect this one right here. Basically, you can just trace this line. And instead of right here, you stop, you're gonna make the line like that. Okay, so now you have something like that. So now, the piece that we sold it earlier, you're gonna spread this out. And then you're going to place this the right side to the right side of this together like this, okay? Like that. Okay, and now you I'm gonna turn this around and I'm going to pin this around and then we're gonna cut. So now everyone, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this around. Folding this like that, and then you're going to sew this, and then fold it like this. So every time, like in the middle, that's why I don't cut it right there. So like that, and then sew it in. This side too, sew it in. So just like this, everyone. Go fold a V together, and then you're going to sew this and sew all in the line until.
just like that you're gonna do all these okay and then the next one here just wrap this make sure it meet up like the curl like that so it's nice and even So everyone, after I sew on the back here together, you're going to go ahead and cut the extra so it won't be too crazy sticking out like this. So pretty. And on this piece here, you don't need to cut it. This, uh, this side, you don't need to do it. So I'm going to do this way much easier for me turn it like this and then this side right here this one right here turn the right side so the right side will touch this right side and let's put it together after you clip them all together you go on about a quarter of an inch you go ahead and sew them all around all of these together so i'm gonna place it in here and i'm gonna go all around a quarter of an inch so all together everything close So now, right after that, you're going to go ahead and cut on the, the corners that you sew and then trim this. Be careful, don't cut on the sew line. I'm telling you, it's going to be very sad. I don't know if you ever sat before or sat like that. So now you understand why I sew this two together. This two together, so now you can inside out. So inside out this whole thing, push. So you press all the side and everywhere. On, this, on the side here that you left it open, go ahead and sew it back in. to do a bigger one then you can take it out like an inch and a quarter something like that symbol that's it for this now and go ahead and you look at this how cute how adorable go ahead and iron this everyone here Sunday, I didn't upload any video because I did not feel well. And I know a lot of you wondering like what happened. I just don't feel well. So go ahead and very close to here you go top stitch all around. And you are done. Now after I top stitch, look how beautiful this is everyone. So cute. And then you put the bow on. You put it in the microwave. When you're done, you can bring it out. So nice and cozy. Look at that. Very pretty. If you want to make it bigger, just increase the size. The templates I will upload in my description to make it easy for you. And for your safety, so you don't pull all your hair out. Stay safe and take care, everyone. Thank you so much for watching.